Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, we are going to learn how to make a video with pictures and music. So you can make something that looks like this. Now you know why I look tired in some of my videos. I have two kids. Pulling together a video like this is perfect for things like birthdays, weddings, or other types of celebrations. And the great news is you probably already have this software on your computer. On Windows 11, go down to the Start menu and then search for ClipChamp and click on the Best Match. You can also download the app through the Microsoft Store or you can navigate directly to ClipChamp.com in your web browser. And all of these are completely free to use. All right, let's make a video with pictures and music. Once you launch ClipChamp, you'll land on the home screen right here. Let's click on this button to create a new video. This drops us into the main editing interface for ClipChamp. And over on the left hand side, let's make sure that you're in the Your Media view. Right here, you'll see a button to import media. This is where you can bring in things like pictures, music, you can even pull in video files. Let's click on this button and this opens up a file picker where you can navigate to where you have the files on your computer. Now, alternatively, you can also click on this drop down arrow. And here you could also pull in media from your phone. When you click on this, you scan a QR code and then on your phone, you can select all of the files that you would like to bring in. It actually works surprisingly well. Down below, you can also pull in media from all of these different services. Now, along with using this drop down and this button, you can also simply drag and drop your media from your computer directly into this view and that'll upload it into ClipChamp. I've already imported some music into my project, but let's say maybe you don't have any music. Over on the left hand side, you can click on this icon that says music and SFX. At the very top, you have a category called free to use. And here you have this massive catalog of all of these different songs that you can use in your video. And now that I've imported all of my media into ClipChamp, I'm ready to pull together my video. Back within the Your Media view, here I can click on one of my pictures and I can press on this green plus icon. And that'll add it to my timeline. Alternatively, I can also press on one of my photos and I can simply drag it down to my timeline. To change the order on the timeline, I can simply select one of my pictures and I can move it around. By default, all of my pictures appear for five seconds, but let's say you want to adjust this amount of time. You can click on the photo and then you can press this handle. You could extend it or you could also reduce the amount of time that it stays up for. If you reduce the length, you'll have to remove these gaps between all of the different photos. To adjust the length of multiple pictures at the same time, you could simply highlight multiple pictures, adjust the length, and they'll all adjust at the same time. Now that all of my photos are down below on the timeline, I also want to bring in my music. Just like we did with the photos, I'll go up to my music file and then click on the plus screen icon. And this brings my music down onto the timeline. Just like we did with the photos, you can also trim the length of the music. Now that I have all of my pictures in the order that I want them on the timeline, now I'm ready to tweak how these photos look. Here I'll select this photo and I see it up above in the preview area. I could adjust the position of the photo. I could also adjust the size of the photo by clicking on these handle icons. With the photo selected, I also have these controls over on the left hand side. Here I could set it to fit the frame or I could also set it to fill the frame. I'll set it to fill the frame and then I'll adjust the position of the photo. I also have other controls where I could crop. I could also rotate the photo or here I could flip either horizontally or vertically. Next, we're going to look at how you could use layers to make your video project look even better. Right down here on my timeline, I have this one photo in a vertical orientation, but I have these black bars on both sides of the photo and I don't think those look very good. Here I'll select the photo and then copy and then I'll paste. I'll take the pasted photo and move it on top of the original photo. So now I have two different layers. It's the same photo, one on top of the other. I'll select the photo on the bottom layer and here I can expand it to fill the entire frame. With the bottom photo selected, I'll go over to the right hand side where I have all of the different properties for the photo. And here I'll click into filters. Down within effects, there's one called blur. I'll select that and that applies the blur effect to the bottom layer photo. And now I see my vertical photo with this nice blurred background behind it of the same photo. 
that looks a lot better. With layers, you can also build a beautiful looking collage. Here I have three photos, one on top of the other, and I've positioned them in a way that looks very nice in the preview area. This project's coming together nicely, but it feels like it could use a little bit of subtle motion to make it more interesting. With one of the picture files selected on my timeline, over on the right hand side, here I have all of my properties. So you could say fade in or fade out. You could adjust the colors like the exposure, or you could apply different filters. When I click into filters, here we have a massive collection of different filters that you can apply to your photo. If we scroll down towards the bottom, the one that I'm interested in is called slow zoom. That'll add a subtle zoom to this picture. Here you could adjust the position of the zoom. So does it zoom in towards the right or to the left? You could also adjust the speed. And here you can click on reverse. So you could decide does it zoom in or does it zoom out? I'll set it so it zooms in. And here when we preview it, now you see this nice subtle zoom movement. That little bit of motion really makes the project look a lot nicer. Clipchamp is a full blown video editor. So over on the left hand side, you can add things like transitions. When I click into transitions, we see all of these different options. Here I can drag one of these transitions between two of my pictures and that adds a little bit more of a dynamic look. Also over on the left hand side, I can click on text and here I have all of these different text options that I can insert onto my timeline. So I can place some text to overlay some of my photo files. Maybe I want to describe what's in this picture. Also over on the left hand side, you also have a category called motion graphics. And here at the very top, I could insert stickers. So maybe I want a sticker to overlay some of my photos. You have many, many different options. Once you're all done working on your video, in the top right hand corner, you can click on this button to export. Here you can choose the quality level. And currently the highest quality level that you can export at is 1080p. So I'd recommend selecting that. Here it'll now export the project. And once it's all done, it'll save a copy of your video to your downloads folder. You'll also get this link right here and you can copy that and then share it with others and they can watch your video. All right, well, that's really how easy it is to make a video with pictures and music. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.